Let's look at the time and transition properties within the preset effects in Mosaic Designer 2. Whenever you add a preset to the timeline, you have the option to configure its time and transition information. Every one of these presets within groups and matrix and scenes will all have the same information up here. When I place a preset on a timeline, it'll get its start and end information from wherever I placed it. As I move this timeline preset by dragging it back and forth, you'll see that the start and time will update, but length always stays the same. If I come over to these fields and make an actual change, it will update in the timeline as well. So if I wanted to start at a particular time or end at a particular time and be a particular length. Keep in mind, if you change either end or length, it will modify the other one. For instance, if I say I want this to be a five second effect instead of a 10 second effect, my end will update from 20 to 15. Below this is the option for transition. You have a fade transition, which is the amount of time it takes for that preset to fade in, a release transition, which is the amount of time it takes for a preset to fade out, and then some modifiers. If I want to visualize this, I can select the View Transitions button at the top. This will now show me a graphical representation of my fades. I can also then select these transitions and drag to modify their lengths. So if I want this to be a fairly quick entrance of the effect, I'll change my fade time from two to something like one. Notice how it updates the effect. Within these transitions, fade always starts at the exact beginning of the effect. It then fades into the effect. At the end of the preset, release begins then and fades out. So the actual length of time that light is controlled is the length plus the release. When I'm done viewing these transitions, I can click this button again to turn them off. If you have two effects which are back to back with each other, you'll notice that the first one does not get a release time. The transition time between one effect to the next will be covered by the fade of the second effect. As we are fading or releasing, we have options for path. This could be linear, start, end, braked, accelerated, damped, or overshot. And we have options for our skew, snaps, individually, wave, spread, staggered, and multi-speed. For more information on all these, please consult the Mosaic Manual. Once you've set a skew, you have the option to set some more properties, such as direction, forward, backwards, in, out, or shuffled, and then set a repeat and buddy for that transition. 